documentaries, plenty of uh, people will tell you the American tanks in the Second World War, especially tanks like the Sherman, um, they were thinly armoured, not particularly good firepower, Tommy cookers of one phrase that was used. Actually, they were a brilliant answer to a problem by the American automotive industry. And uh, the tanks coming on in the front of the Shermans, we've got, first of all, they're an M5 Stuart tank followed by an M3, an earlier version of the tank. Again, these all display brilliant features of American automotive design. The idea was, in the 1930s, the Americans thought they may have to go to war, but they had a very small Cobra army. In other words, a very small army that was there to And the American war plan was, if war came, we will throw resources at the problem. And that's exactly what the Americans did. They tested out components that they thought would be suitable for armoured vehicles in the 1930s. And when war came, America in 1939 it only made about 380 tanks in its own country. By the end of the war, they'd made over 68,000 vehicles. And that was an amazingly quick ramping up of production. Now with the M3 Stuart tank, that's a sandy colour tank, that's in British markings, because it was the British that first used some of this American...